guys welcome to the stream thank you for being here april 5th 2023 wednesday we are back with another stream guys with girondin de bordeaux yesterday uh, we had a rough rough stream rough uh, string of results today we're trying to fix that and maybe we can win the league who knows friend how are you man thank you for being here today is a classico yes i know friend yes uh, definitely we will enjoy it i think i have a pre-bet on uh, on that game i think i have real or thai so i hope i'm gonna win it <laughs> but thank you for being here rent thank you everyone for being here let's dig in let's start all right um yesterday we uh finished the stream with a tie at home against olympique marseille not a bad result but not a good result it's just uh we still we're still in the fight that's uh the good part of this um of this result so we're still one point behind nice one point behind nice and um we have 11 or 12 games left in the league it's a very very tight race uh Grant, you will support barca okay i'm uh i'm a barca fan too myself it's just um I think Real is a better team these days and uh, because they lost at home 1-0 in the first leg I think they're gonna push for the win today so at least a tie I see at least a tie today um, but yeah it's uh, it's gonna be a great game I think it's gonna start uh, at 2 p.m. central time so if you're in Europe it's gonna probably gonna start at 9 p.m. Or 10 depends depending of where you are so as you can see here Olympique Marseille is two point behind us and Marseille, uh, Marseille uh, and uh, Monaco and Paris Saint-Germain are also still in the fight maybe Paris not so much because they have like nine points behind Nice but who knows who knows there's still time let's uh, let's check how many games left so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn, ten, ten games left, guys. All right. Next game is uh, Saint Etienne, and we will play in exactly seven days, six days. Yep, six days away. We hope to get the three points. Otherwise, we're not gonna. Probably we're gonna finish second or third this season. Still not bad. Still not bad. In the beginning of the season, if you would tell me that we're finish, gonna finish top three, I would be okay, great. <laughs> so yeah, we're good. Hey Pixel, welcome to the stream and how are you? Brendan, how are you, man? Welcome. We are ready to uh, to roll today. We have 10 games left. Anything can happen. We have a bunch of wonder kids in the in the team right now. Can't complain. We just have to pick up results. But just no excuse. Uh, check the training levels right before the game and then right after saint etienne guys we played psg at home big one we never beat psg since i took over bordeaux never we tied but never beat uh this monster this giant <laughs> i hope today is the day yeah i hope so man i hope so like and i hope nice is gonna choke too we have we need some um some results some good results uh on our part but we also need nice to kind of like lose more points and they did they tied chateau Ro at home zero zero unexpectedly as we already know chateau Ro is a new promoted club so But yeah guys i really appreciate you stopping by 
And um, today, yeah, today we have uh, El Clasico, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Any any predictions, guys? Uh, we have the goalie got injured. Ooh, we have a decent winger here. Let's see who is this guy. Yes. 15 years old, Jean-Marc Langlois. He can also play as a pressing forward. Let's sign this uh, this kid. Push to sign. Who knows? Might be something in the future. Give you 113, 33 years. Libertadores today at 6 p.m. Ah, uh, yeah, Atletico Nacional. We are rooting for Atletico Nacional today. Very poor youth intake. Patronato. Are they good pixel, Patronato? Hey, best Murph. How are you, man? Welcome to the stream, dude. <laughs> Brendan is rooting for Patronato, huh? Uh, we would have played Wolfsburg if uh, if Bodo Glimt would not kn knock us out from Europa League. They face Wolfsburg. I hope they lose. <laughs> I'm kidding. Kidding. So, so Atletico Nacional, they uh, they should like you know pretty pretty much win easily, right? Pixel, they should win with no no problems. Easy win for Atletico. And Bodo Glimt beat Wolfsburg two one. Seriously. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe today he's he's gonna pick the right team, Pixel. Maybe he's just trying to figure out the the best starting eleven. You know. Who knows what's going on there? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's still the qualifiers, right? It's not uh, the group stage didn't start, so right? Or it's starting today. Oh, this is group stage. Oh, okay. So this is serious now. So Atletico Nacional qualifies straight for for the group stage, or they ha they had to play qualifiers. Oh boy, Marseille Nice, big one. I hope Nice is gonna lose, or maybe a tie would be better. A tie would be better. And yes, Nice lost. Now, if we win our game in hand right now, we can go back on being first, guys. You guys qualify straight. Nice, nice. Well, I'm rooting for uh, for Atletico today. And uh, like always, my favorite teams are Gio Petrosciani, Atletico Nacional, and Bran. <laughs> These are my favorite teams, guys. We need to beat Saint Etienne away. That is not gonna be easy. Tell you that. The boys are uh, having some uh, low morale lately. Their mood is kind of low. We need to improve that, and a big win here will definitely fix fix it and uh, 
a win will help us have uh, better chances to beat PSG also. And Teodoro is improving a lot. Damn, this guy is really improving. So we have to start him. Teodoro. <laughs> yeah, easy win. <laughs> easy win for Atletico Nacional. There was a cool Romanian guy we recommended to come here so sometime. Really? Who who is this guy? What's his name? Oh, Bessmurf is uh, is is pumped about uh, our game against Saint Etienne. Something birds, birds. Something narrow bird. Hmm. Okay. Is he on Twitch or something? Alright, Monaco won 2 nothing against Straw. It's up to us, guys. It's up to us right now. Uh, Brandon... Uh, Albemayang played for Saad Etienne. I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure if he started with uh, Saint Etienne. Oh, man. Uh, searching, searching. Maybe I'm not typing it right. Oh, Yeah, let's see. He started with Bastia. Oh wow, Abemiang's <laughs> dad played in Colombia. <laughs> so yeah, they say he started with Bastia and then went to Milan, Dijon. So yeah, for Saint Etienne, 87 games, 37 goals. Pierre Emerick Albemayang. In my save, he retired at 35 years old. Today we're going to have a long stream, guys, at least four hours. We have to um, advance probably to the last, I don't know, two, three games of the season today. Yeah, yep. He had a decent career in France before he moves. And we signed Jean-Marc Langlois. 15 years old from our youth intake who knows maybe he might be something in the future it doesn't hurt all right let's check the training and then we can uh, start the first game of the stream manchester united plays today oh yeah i forgot yep they play um, Brentford today. And I have a bet on menu to win. A pre-bet.
Okay, best Smurf will be here, man. Brent for one nothing. <laughs> I hope not, Brent. Brandon, I hope not. Well, they lost two nothing at Newcastle, so I don't know. Their confidence is might be low today. Malinowski. Oh, Welcome back, Best Smurf. Yeah, and they play at home, so usually Manchester United after a uh, after a loss. Especially if they play at home, they uh, they come back with a win, usually. So, we will see. Alright, let's check for additional really quick. Agility and balance for Ingezana. Do a ability in the air for Danso. Yes, I think so. It's the same at the same time, Alec, uh, like a classical pixel. You're right. Definitely, Brendan is not as popular like um, when Messi and Ronaldo were there. Definitely. And Messi yesterday got an offer from Al Hilal for over 400 million per season, guys. I think he's gonna turn it down. From uh, from what I've heard on the news, but that is insane—400 million dollars per season. I know, but it's just it's just uh, the craziness of. How like, how in the world one person can make 400, 400 million in one year? Like it's just retarded. It's just absolutely insane. Should not be um, possible to be honest. It should be illegal. <laughs> exactly, Neymar effect. What a waste of money, by the way, from PSG. Like, when they signed Neymar, they wasted 220 million, dude. Neymar went there for uh, five years uh, vacation. Alright, we're ready. Let's see who is tired or who is suspended, who is unavailable. Okay, we got Olchik suspended and Gezana suspended. We're going to play with Abramovich, Teodoro, and Rusillo. Joao Vitor, Bagaric, and Blanco in the middle. Petit Jean, Axel, Dimitrovic, and Sehajic in the back. And Dija Kobe in the goal. I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo wins Saudi just for the money. I think he accidentally wants to build the league popularity. So I think Messi might want to do the same. Uh, I disagree, Brendan. I think Messi will not go. Messi will stay at least for at least... Uh, one more season in Europe. I think uh, I think he wants to go back to Barcelona. But yeah, let's start. Big game. I hope so. Rosillo now is a starter for us. He uh, he needed some time to adjust with the tactics and. Um, Coming back to Bordeaux, but now he's ready.
All right. I think even with a tie here, um, I think we're still going to be first even with a tie. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, bad luck for Neymar. <laughs> but I think his attitude is not is not the best. I mean, he's not pushing himself. He knows he's really good, but in very very difficult situation, he's kind of like he's giving up when he's under pressure or when when, when things are not going his way, he's kind of like he's quitting, you know. Yes, Besmer, three points. Definitely, we need those three points to be back on first place. Now is the time to take advantage of a nice mistake. And Teodoro steals the ball in the middle in the second minute of the game. But he wastes. he's wasting this oppor opportunity. Come on. Easy now, don't get a red card, man. Wow, what a save by Di Jacobe. Twenty minutes in, Santetienne is trying to score the first goal of the game. Oh, dangerous, dangerous chance! Michael Rosario, six point five. Blanco, Sehajic, Vitor. Ah. Half an hour, come on boys. It's a tight game. We can go either way. We have the possession 60 to 40. We're first now. If this results hold until the end of the game, we are first. Joao Vitor, Abramovic, Petitjan, back to Abramovic. Come on, can we score before halftime? Abramovic. With the cross, Teodoro, Sehajic, Bagaric, Rusilio, and shot blocked. Joao Vitor. I think it's gonna, it's gonna end 0 0 at halftime. All right. Um, well done on controlling possession. Okay, at least a good response by all players. Nobody is underperforming so far. Let's uh, let's continue here. Too bad we're missing Olchik and we're missing Gezana. With, uh, with them on the field, definitely it would have been a different story. Joao Vitor came back after a long, long injury. Man, the, this game is so tight. 7-7 seven, seven on shots. Come on, Bagaric. Bagaric in the box. Turns. Crosses to Teodoro. Oh my god. Post. Yeah. 
uh the season starts uh, i think it's gonna be 17 or 18th let me double check uh april let me double check Sixteenth, I think, is gonna be the first game. Sixteenth, Sunday. It seems our fates are joined. And now uh, Saint Etienne with uh, a chance to score. Our defense is blocking their shot. Rosilio here. Sixtieth minute. Okay, so let's double check. Who is sucking? So Rocio and Joao Vitor. Okay, we need to take them out. Um. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will, guys. I'll let you know. Definitely. So Griffiths is gonna join the game. We're gonna try. Uh, let's see. In the middle. Mm. Maybe Sehajic for Joao Vitor and Danso, yeah, and Danso as a inverter wing back. Let's try this. Don't make mistakes, please. Do not make mistakes. Now is not the time. For mistakes and I think it's an offside I think it's an offside I pray it's an offside come on yes thank you this is allowed Yeah, we're getting dominated now by Satentien. Still, we're not clicking. We can we can see the players are uh, not reacting well to uh, this tactic. The new players, and I think this one is an offside too. But Abramovic. Yep. Oh my God. Uh, let me see. Nope, it's a goal. God, it's a goal. I thought it's an offside. Abramovic, the son of Roman Abramovic. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my God, what a goal. Nope, it's not an offside. But it was close though. Deflected and then Abramovic with a tap in. Come on, boys. Let's see. Very, very close though. Very close. To be an offside. Okay, best Murph. Can we hold the lines and win this game? If we win, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have two points. Yep, we're gonna have two points in front of Nice and Marseille. Huge. It's gonna be a huge win. Because we know up the upcoming game is against Paris Saint Germain, so. We're counting that as a loss or at least a tie. The best case scenario is a tie against Paris. Mistake by the goalie. 15 minutes left. The Jacobe Axel. Blanco Sehajic again. Sehajic for Abramovic. Teodoro one on one chance with the goalie. And oh my god, dude. But offside. Alright, five minutes left. We're gonna have to make some subs very soon. I'm just gonna make the subs out of tiredness, not because I'm uh disappointed with anybody they're playing very well come on let's hold 
Let's not make a mistake right now. And block shot good. Come on. Axel. Petit Jean. Blocking the cross. Perfect. Perfect. Counter. Ah. That's nothing. 90th minute. Alright, let's make the sub. Uh, let me see here. Fernandez for Stehajic. Nare for Petitjan. And Nielsen for Teodoro. Four minutes left, guys. Ah, come on. No, 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 you fucking idiot. Sorry, guys, for the language. Look at the time. God, so annoying, dude. As soon as I make the subs, man. Dimitrovic couldn't stop Kone. Oh my god, dude. So annoying. Don't tell me we're gonna lose now. Very, very, very frustrating. Because it's not the first time when this shit is happening. That's why I, I waited until the 91st minute to make the subs and still, still they couldn't hold. 92nd minute, Seidukone ties the game. And look at their formation. How defensive is it? Oh my god. We're first, but we're tied with Marseille and Nice, guys. And now we're facing Paris Saint-Germain at home. In exactly seven days. We have two ties in a row. Exactly. We did enough to win the game. We had big, big... Chances to score. We had a post or two, I think. <laughs> yeah, Pixel, it's frustrating, man. The way that the way they came back and they scored, I thought it's in the bag. I thought it's just you know, a few more minutes and we can hold. Nope. Every point matters right now because we have nine games left. I'm counting this as a loss against PSG. They're destroying everyone lately. Six points behind the first place, so... We need to, to play a perfect game against PSG in order for us to have a chance. And even then, we might lose. Because they're way too good. They have way too much money. 
they have more experienced players, we have too many young kids. <laughs> I still think it's just the uh, the players not uh, getting used yet with the tactic. They're not familiar yet with the tactic. The new players that we bought. I don't think it's the tactic. I don't think that the problem is the tactic. Because the, the bad result started exactly in mid-January when they joined. So as you can see here. We picked up only three wins since January, and it's already what? It's like mid March right now. Yeah, it's the players. Cause like before, before the the new signings, we had like a perfect start of the season. Perfect start of the season. Anyways, and Gezana is back, so it's. Uh, we're feeling good about this because we need all our starters available for Paris game. Old chick back in the squad. Yeah, you can shove it. They're unhappy with Seth alone agreement. Yeah, he's gonna join us for free in the summer, so whatever, dude. This guy will be a decent backup. Can we win for the first time against PSG? And then we have Monaco away. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we get no breaks, guys. After PSG, we play Monaco away. And Monaco is three points behind us. They're just waiting there, waiting to hit. Vitor. This guy is good as a as a right back or left back. Yeah, now is the time to step up. I agree, Bessmurf. It's the time for the player to show 
the real the real uh quality that's why we paid so much money for them that's why we're like really in so much debt we're like down 20 million in, in the bank otherwise you can't you can't compete against paris against monaco against marseille if you don't bring some um some world-class players in the in the team Like I said yesterday, it would be really nice if this season we can win a trophy. So the only trophy we can win this season is the league because we're out of the cup, we're out of the Europa League. So the only uh, trophy is um, is the league. This is the fourth season at Bordeaux. So most of the coaches these days, they have like four year projects when they sign with a team. This will be really nice if we can actually this season win it for that to happen we need some some uh, bad results for <laughs> for Paris for all these teams behind us and semi-finals Cup de France Monaco beat 3-0 at Lille they win at Lille. After Monaco, we're gonna play Tra. Tra is not the same team as they used to be. I think they kind of slowed down in the past two years. They used to play in uh, Champions League regularly. Now, now it's uh, probably they're not pumping money into the team anymore. Nothing changed there. Let's see, Dane Strike. Is he playing for uh, Lazio? Of course not. Of course not. Nah. Alexandru Olaf, Romanian. Hmm, already 19. Not bad, but not good. Just... If you're in Romania and you coach a Romanian club, this might be a good option, but... Actually, let's check on Gio one more time. Oh, wow. Relegation group. Really? They didn't make the, the championship playoff. Seriously, dude? TFR Cluj 2. Craiova 2, wow, Rapid 2, what the hell is happening? Let's see the championship playoff. Gio is first. God. And they're gonna renew his contract, because probably they're gonna win the league now. Pecha Sebe second. <laughs> Because you is the best team. No man, because they are, they are lucky. I hate that coach. They have like Burlo, you whatever, fake fake coach. Actually, Pixel, they destroyed whatever I uh, whatever I built, whatever I did at Gio. They they destroyed everything. Last season, they didn't win anything. They didn't play in Europe and of, they didn't fire him. And his expire, his contract will expire in June. So three more months. If he wins the league, probably they're going to give him another deal. So uh, whatever. Anyways, we have a, we have a great team here at, at Bordeaux. It's going to be tough for me to leave now. Very, very tough. Ari knocked out Gladbach in Europa League.
Two more days. Let's pray for no injuries. Because it always happens. Before big games, we have key players getting injured for no reason. Now Nice has to choke again against Saint Etienne. Come on. Come on, come on. Ah, they won 3 nothing. No chance. No chance for Saint Etienne. Now they have 3 points ahead of us. And we're down 23 million in the bank. How is this freaking possible, man? Ah, projection. Let's see projection. Turnover. I have no idea how to, like, predict what's going to happen in the future with these finances. What this turnover means, the total sum of money made by the club during this period, excluding investment and transfers. W yeah, where is the money? Oh, expenditure. That's why we're down. Transfer budget yet. We need to sell players again in the summer. To have a budget. Definitely the chairman will not help us. I'm not gonna expect any help from him. We are ready. We have to go to war. Pixel, did you start a new season with uh, Kindio? Or is still uh, the preseason? Drew 1 1 away. Okay. With the new tactic, right? Yeah, you need uh, to test it for the whole season. We just need maybe another striker and a backup goalkeeper and we're good. Yeah. No, that tactic uh, is going to work for sure. We tested for like a bunch of seasons. I think at least three or four seasons with Giu. So we won the league many times. Uh, with that tactic, we got into the semi-final of a conference league with Giu. So yeah, it's working. It just needs... Your team needs a little bit of time to like, get used to it, you know. Also, Bessmurf had a very good uh, season with City with that tactic. I think, Bessmurf, you won the league, right? You won the league with that tactic. The, yeah, the 4-2-4. You won the league with City, right?
Oh yeah, so you got into the Champions League final. So yeah. And also Pixel, if you if you want to test, uh, if, uh, we have another one, the, the the one that the tactic that I used before I switched to to this one that we're having right now, the one that um, Bestmurf won the Champions League with, and also he won the league in Norway with Bran. Um, I can I can show it to you. You can take screenshots and you can test it out too. Just in case this one is not gonna work, you know. Alright, so Marseille, they tied, so they have one point ahead of us, and Nice, they have three points because they won. Now we are forced to get a good result here. Let's ch check the training levels. Yes, Pixel. Whenever you need, let me know. Alright, so let's praise everyone for this week training levels now it's time for Ingezana and Bagarish to, to step up because we are putting all our faith in them <laughs> of course man we're a team here Pixel come on <laughs> we're winning together we're losing together Alexandra Dimitrievich. Oh, and um, I um, I ordered. Um, I have a um, like a company in uh, in Hong Kong, right? They're doing uh, jerseys. They're doing custom jerseys. So I ordered the new Asane uniforms. Or when I start to save, I'm gonna wear during the stream the Asane jersey, guys. <laughs> Bran won 6 0 this Sunday. <laughs> nice, nice. That's a great result for Bran. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll post it right now on Discord and you guys check it out because they sent me the. The mock-up, you know. Let me see. I'm gonna post it on the screenshot. Football manager chat. Because I have the mock-up here. Also with my number on the back and everything. <laughs> so yeah. We're gonna be ready with Asane right after the Bordeaux save, guys. We're going to Norway. It doesn't matter, Bessmurf. It's good. It's 6 nothing. so... They played great. That's a good uh, win for their... Uh, for their morale, you know, their confidence. My nickname is not <laughs> my real name is Adrian, right? So everybody calls me Adi. It's like a shorter version of Adrian in in Romania. So everybody knows me by Adi <laughs> in real life. This is how um, I have, you know, all the jersey. Even when I was playing in Romania, on the back it was Adi. <laughs> Uh, raise six. Mm. See, some players are reacting bad when you try to praise them. Blanco. All right, they're injured. <laughs> Your season begins 10 April. Oh, okay. Your number is 23. Nice, nice. Like Michael Jordan, right? <laughs> Pixel. Teodoro Endurance. Per Nielsen. Rickert. Abramovic. Ball control. They said um, 
J Alexander on the back. Nice. You have a nice name. You already have a superstar name, Pixel. Oh, brand season? Okay, because in Norway they start... Yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. Best Murphy, yeah. In real life, they're starting on April 10. <laughs> yeah, it's a very nice name. Uh, in Romania, we have uh, Alexandru. This is how you pronounce Alexandru. It's a very, uh, very, like, cool name. Cool sounding name, you know. Yeah, my uh, my surname is uh, the, tr the translation in Romanian is the Greek, the Greek, Greco, the Greek, or in English, you know. Jeffrey Alexander, like, it's like already like LeBron James, you know, the same type of name, like superstar, world class player. <laughs> no, I don't. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. My wife always makes jokes that I'm a Greek, you know. I'm a, I'm not Romanian, I'm Greek. <laughs> yeah, you need to put the work. The, you need to put the work in, Pixel, and you already have everything set. Put the work in and you're just gonna... You know, you're gonna, you're gonna become great. Greek Easter is coming up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, we have uh, weird names in Romania. For example, Greku, it, mean the Gre it means the Greek. We have Rusu, it means the Russian. Um, what else? Unguru, it means the Hungarian. So it's weird. This is how Romanian names are, like, really, really weird. <laughs> Everything ends with a U. You know? Greek Orthodox, yeah. Alright, so Blanco is... So, so, so freaking annoying. Blanco is unavailable for the game of the game PSG. This is what I was telling you guys. Every time we have a player either injured or suspended or not available in big games, how can I win against PSG with, without Blanco? This guy is insane. He's like almost 160 current ability. He's a... Uh, he, he went for the international under 23s against Mexico. We have to play Petit Jean and then Nare. Yeah, this is gonna be a loss. Ah, oh, man. Let's see Dan. So, is he better than. Not a... Let's play Danso. Joseph Danso. Maybe he will play better. Joseph Danso and Nare will be on the bench. Alright. Bagaric is very, very tired. We are ready. We're counting this as a loss, but you never know. Maybe maybe the players will actually give it 100. So we're going to probably um, get something out of it. We'll see. Let's go, boys. We owe Paris. Let's get our revenge for the last result against them. The fans are with us packed stadium here at Madmut Atlantic
And corner kick. Come on, boys. Done so. Abramovic in the box. Third minute of the game. Come on. Abramovic. Bagaric. And goal, Rusilio. Don't cancel it. Might be an offside. Let's hope it's it's not going to be cancelled. Come on. It's going to stand one nothing for Le Girondin, guys. <laughs> what a start of the game with Abramovic here. Passing to Bagaric. Bagaric with the shot. Hitting the post and Rusilio right there. Just a quick tap in and one nothing. Pistolero is back, yes. <laughs> Michael Rusilio, he looks like a like a cowboy or like a yeah, like a pistolero. In Gezana yellow card. Man, what a start of the game. For the first time, we have a big chance to win against Paris Saint-Germain. Teodoro. Block shot, but I think it was an offside. Yes, agreed. Twenty seventh minute. We're back on top now. If this result holds, but we already know Paris Saint Germain and we know what they do. They crush our dreams every time. Axel Olchik Yellow card too. Dimitrovich yellow card. Jeez. Too early for this man. Done so. Switches on the right to Rusilio. Ngezana. Ngezana for Teodoro. Come on. What a miss. Very good first half, Teodoro 6.5, so we're going to monitor his uh, performance. And then uh, second half, we're going to probably sub him with Nielsen. Still surviving here. Vidovic, Vidovic in the box. Don't don't fall him. Just let him let him do it. His thing. And good. Good. We're safe. We're one hour and eight minutes into the stream, guys. We're going for four hours or even more. Today. Long stream. Olchik, good. With a clearance. Come on, Abramovic has speed. Can we hit him on the counter? Can we do something with this uh, uh, with this chance here? Nope, we can't. We need one more mistake from Paris. Come on, Dan So. Danso, Abramovic, Axel, 
with a long pass here for Danso. Danso pass it. No, that's a cross. Rusillo. Oh, beautiful header. He already scored one goal. Halftime, one nothing. We have three yellow cards. Need to be careful. I am delighted. Keep it up. Let's see who is super tired. We know that Bagaric is tired, but I think he can uh, he can survive. Let's go. Second half. One more goal. We need one more goal. Paris is not gonna stop. They're not gonna stop. We have a lot of players having a great game so far. Abramovic. Don't lose the ball there. Petitjan. Petitjan. Ah, good vision, but Teodoro. Teodoro didn't run for it. Axel. Ah. Dimitrovic. Come on, guys. No mistakes. No mistakes. Long ball for Abramovic. Abramovic or Bagaric. Corner kick. Petitjan. 6-5 Teodoro. We're gonna leave him 10 more minutes and we're subbing with Nielsen. Corner kick for Paris. This is dangerous. Di Jacobe with the save and oh my god what a shot wow somehow we're still up one nothing but yeah I'm gonna put him in Nielsen joins the game out with Teodoro uh, Dimitrovic and Ingezana injured god why every time we have the same shit happening so annoying Bagaric is super tired I have to put Danso in and not a yeah this is not gonna end well our best player Ingezana is out. It is Jean 6 5. Abramovich. Axel. Come on, run. Yes, Olchik with, with the steal. Done so. Olchik, Bagaric. Back to Olchik. Olchik for Rusilio. Back to Olchik, come on. 16 minutes left. 16 minutes left, come on, guys. And PSG. They got the possession back. This is going to be something. It takes way too long. And usually, it's either a big, big chance or a goal. So, that was a shot. Good. Blocked, but still, Paris putting the pressure. All right, we survived that one. Eight minutes left, guys. Bagaric, Rusilio in the box. Rusilio, Rusilio, what was that? Offside? Okay. I'm gonna make more subs, but I'm gonna wait for the 90th minute. 
Joao Vitor with the corner. Come on, Joao Vitor. Axel was there, couldn't get it. Now Petitjan gets inside the box. Passing to Danso. Danso! Danso! Five minutes left. Five minutes. Come on, survive. Survival mode here. Nine yet minute. See, now is... Now is the time when we're making the subs. Uh, who else? Who else needs to get subbed? Yeah, Joao Vitor just joined the game. And he's already on a yellow. Petit Jean, very tired. Bagaric, very tired. We're gonna put in... Uh, Hernandez for Bagaric. Uh, Sehajic for Petitjan. And we move Vitor as a defensive midfielder with support. And that's it. Come on, boys. We cannot get punished again in the in the last minute of the game. Good. Huge win. Huge win for Le Girondin, guys, if we can hold. Two more minutes. The very first time when we beat Paris Saint-Germain. Michael Rusilio. El Pistolero, come on. And Sehajic with a blocked shot, but it's good. Corner kick. Alright. Few more seconds. Few more seconds, guys. Few more seconds. Tehajic, Abramovic, Nare. Abramovic on the left. Just hold the ball there. Oh, Nielsen almost scored. It should be over. Come on, ref. It should be over anytime. Yes. Nielsen, pass it. Yes, three points. The first time when we beat the Paris. Paris Saint-Germain, guys. They go empty-handed home. 14 to nine shots, three on three to three on target. The XG was, whoa, 2.14 in our favor. 56 possession to 44. What a win. The three points are staying here. Are staying home. We're still first in the league, guys. Still tied with Nice. Two points in front of Marseille. Six points in front of Monaco, but Monaco has a game in hand. Huge, huge, huge win, man. This might be a title decider win. Let's praise Del Pistolero, Michael Rusillo with another goal. He is undisputed starter for us right now and with huge potential in the future. And Gezana injured for five to eight days. Twisted knee. So unlucky. So I think I think the tactic is starting to get familiar with the new signings. That's why we um that's why we won against Paris. Otherwise, you know. There's no other explanation. We have 13 days break between these games. We're going to travel to Monaco next. Another big one. Very close to uh, April 
We're the most aggressive team. Look at the yellow cards here. Piotr Olczyk with 13 yellow cards. Blanco with 10. Dimitrovic with 10. God. Well deserved break for the players. We need the two week breaks now to uh, rest, recoup, more training for uh, the new signings with this tactic. I hope we can get at least a point from uh, from our Monaco trip. And then I think after that we have just very very um, doable uh, doable games. We can win everything until the end. Oh yeah, I forgot we we play Nice at home. Yes, we still have Nice, and I think we're gonna play Nice today. If I'm not mistaken, I have to double check the schedule. Let's see here. Uh. Mm, we'll see. I hope so. Might be a stretch. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to play Nice today. It's a four hour stream, so... I think we... I think it's gonna be the last game of the stream. Nice. Hopefully, hopefully Blanco will be back for Monaco game. He's still with the uh, Mexico under Yeah, Pixel, we did it, man, for the first time with the Pistolero scoring. And Gezana will be back. And next is Monaco. We're going to have Nice, the last game of the stream, like I said. So it's going to be a fun, fun stream today. But also a very difficult one. Because <laughs> in case we're losing these games, the important games, probably we are um, We're going to lose the league too. The, the race is so tight, so tight. PSG is not the same team since uh, Mbappe retired, since uh, who else retired from their team? They had few players, very good players, that retired. But still, it's a great win. Now the team the team's confidence is through the roof. Let's check actually. Team cohesion is good. Club atmosphere very good. There is a strong sense of unity between the players and they should have no cause for complaint about the way things are going. Perfect. 
yeah it was just the new signings you know when you sign a lot of players in a very short space of time very very short period of time there's a risk that um you're gonna get some some bad results this is what happens in real life with chelsea guys they signed how many players they signed in uh, the winter transfer window pretty much they kind of pull the same moves like me like six or seven players in one transfer window so of course you know on top of that you don't have a great coach because potter is still a up-and-coming coach young coach so no experience so yeah i was afraid for a for a moment that the tactic is not working but the tactic is actually working wonders Griffith's injured for how long? Three to four weeks. Shit. We need you, man. We need everyone. Everyone healthy. I think I'm going to watch El Clasico on my phone because <laughs> we're going to still be live with the stream. So I'll be having it on my phone. Horvat is on loan at Red Star now. He used to play for us last season. Decent player. Eight days away. Can't wait to win the Champions League with with Bordeaux guys so we can go to Asane. We have a lot of work to do there. But I like that uh, project. We have a beautiful stadium in a beautiful city. Let's go back and check it out again. Asane football. Brand new stadium. It's very small but it's new. Perfect pitch, beautiful city, no money, but we have a lot of potential. It's going to be a fun, fun save. Sorensen is their coach in my save. Jan Derek Sorensen. <laughs> Brigan. <laughs> yes, Besmer. This would be a fun save. It's gonna be a long and hard one. That's what she said. That's an inside joke. But yeah, this is gonna be really, really entertaining. What a beautiful picture here. Is this um is this downtown Bergen? <laughs> yeah, that's a joke from uh, the office, as you guys know already. <laughs>
Oh, almost okay. So it's but it's pretty close to downtown, right? Best Murph. One week away. So Asane, the um, the football club, is actually in Bergen, right? Is the is situ like uh, the stadium is in the city, right? It's not in like outside of. It's not um, built outside of the city or like suburbs, right? Just to double check, just to make sure. It's outside. Oh, okay. So it's a suburb. Asane is like a suburb. We need to take the bus every day then to get to the to the facilities. Uber or the bus. <laughs> Box, bus or taxi. Nice. Yeah, I don't have a driving license in Norway, so can I can I use my uh, U.S. driving license, Bessmerf, in Norway? I think I can, right? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Definitely. I think the club will give me will give me a car, you know, just to use it for the uh, for the time that I'm gonna be uh, in charge of the club of the team. I hope the chairman is a nice guy and he's gonna give us some cash. And in the future, we're going to build a bigger stadium. I hope you're not going to be too upset, Besmer, when uh, we're going to beat uh, Bran. And it is going to happen. Hey, Dan, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I can use my license? Okay, that's good then. We're good. <laughs> That's okay. Five more days. Let's see if Blanco is back. Oh, top 50 Wonder Kids in football. The best Wonder Kid in football in my save is Blanco. We have the best Wonder Kid in the game. Jose Alfredo Blanco, guys. We signed him two years ago for 8.5 million. An absolute superstar.
Yep. Brighton are doing well in Premier League. Yes. Brighton um, with the Zerbi. They were doing good with Potter too. Before he uh, left the team and uh, signed with Chelsea. Who is this Dadone? Hmm. Is he playing for Inter? Nah, yeah, this season he, he is. He is. Marks, this guy is really, really good. We're trying to sign... Yeah, I forgot about this guy. Um, we're trying to sign him. He's, he's going to be probably like Mbappe in the future. But the price tag is 58 million. So, <laughs> yeah, unless... unless they're going to drop the price or we can, I don't know, loan him. But there's no way we can loan him. Nîmes is like what? Uh, their second division? No, they're 14th in Liga. In Liga so. But look at this guy. Shit. 144 already. Current ability. 198 CM. So he's huge. Huge. Pressing forward, guys. Because the finishing. The finishing is just 9. Brighton could be dangerous against Manette in the FA Cup. Oh, definitely. Definitely, man. Oh, we have... Uh, Armenian. An Armenian wonder kid. 17 years old. Uh-oh. Let's scout. Let's scout. I am interested. And let's add him to the short list. 17 years old, 127 current ability. Playing for Bani Kostrava. 21 games already. Nice. Sehajic, the fifth wonder kid in the game. Bordeaux. Yeah. This is who... This is who we got, guys. Bright, bright future. For Legion Dan. Medonsa. Medonsa, right back. Let's scout. He looks great. 17. Let's scout. And let's add him to the shortlist, too. Uh, Perez. Zurich. 17 years old. Yeah, let's call this guy too. Stay hitch. 16 years old. Jesus Christ. This guy. So young. Jassy. Portugal. 18 years old, right back. Mm, more like a winger, actually. What the hell is Ken Robin Prisonziono? Prisonziono. 18 years old, AZ Alkmaar. Let's see, Nielsen, is he a wonder kid though? Come on, it's, he gotta be a wonder kid. Wow, he's not a wonder kid? Come on, this guy's a wonder kid, dude. How? How he's not a wonder kid? He's like 18, definitely a wonder kid, but he's not in the list. He's not in the top 50. Hmm. Anyways.
after Monaco we have Tro, we have Sochaux. Yes, we we need the three points. We need the win. Can't make any more mistakes. One hour and 40 minutes into the stream. <laughs> Pixel. With the emojis. So are you excited, Pixel, about Atletico's uh, game today? You should be in charge, man, of Atletico Nacional. You should uh, use this tactic, the new tactic. <laughs> Oh, you're watching with your dad? Okay. Nice. So, he's a big fan too, right? <laughs> he is the reason. Okay, so he's a bigger fan than you. Okay. Oh, so it runs in the family. I see. So your blood runs white and green. <laughs> yep. Well, they should win today from what you told me. It's a winnable game. Is it any um, reason why they chose uh, the colors white and green? Verdolaga, okay. The color shade is called Verdolaga. Mm -hmm. Is there any reason behind it, Pixel? Verdolaga is a plant native to Medellin. Okay. When uh, Atletico Nacional was... Uh, like... It was uh, in the 1900s? Was created in 1900s or... Pretty late? Oh, okay. Nineteen forty seven. The same like Stella Bucharest, same year. Jules Petrosian was uh uh you know built in nineteen nineteen. Well, my dad always supported uh, Stella Bucharest. Even today, he's watching their games. Like, he's obsessed with that team. I don't know why. Because I hate him so much. Like, pretty much the same hate level with CFR Cluj. And uh, my mom, she was never into 
soccer. She was an athlete. She was doing... Uh, I don't know if you know handball. She played handball when she was young. She was a runner too. No, Fetch Sebe, Fetch Sebe. Because the Fetch Sebe is the real stay out of Bucharest, you know. So, yeah. My brother used to, uh, used to play uh, really good. He was actually better than me, but he had to quit football when he was 19 due to some health problems. He actually has like a cap for the under 17 national Romanian national team. My brother used to be a very tall central defender, very good. He he can hit the ball very well with both feet. So he had a bright future, you know. He's um he's older than me. 3 years older than me. I, I hate Fetche Sebe since uh, this new new owner took over. He's an idiot. Uh, no, no. I was... Um, when he got called for the Romanian national team, um, they had like a friendly or two friendlies in like a few days, you know, apart from each other. So I was uh, I I was at training with Jules. I couldn't travel. Also, it was really expensive for me to travel and see the game. So my my dad took him. It was uh, the game took place in Pitești, where uh, Fece Argeș is the team from Pitești. So they actually used that stadium for uh, for the friendly. It was against Macedonia, and my brother played the whole ninety minutes. I was um, I was 13 years old or 14 back then. All right, we're very very close, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, he was way better. Very very um, and he was very strong mentally. My my brother, he was re like he he never quits in everything. For me, it's like if it's if it gets too hard, something gets too hard, I'm a quitter, man. I'm just like, ah, whatever. And yes, Nice lost. Eat it. Nice lost at PSG 1-0. The perfect result for us. Vidovic scored. Let, who's this guy? Hmm. Oh, he, he started with Bayern. Gabriel Vidovic. Very good. But yeah, what a great result for us. Now, we need to tie. We need to tie. Or win. But even if we lose, I think we're still going to be first. Alright, we're gonna check the training levels. We had a two weeks break. I think we have everybody available now. Even in Gezana got uh, back from his injury. Marseille, Nîmes, and Monaco, Bordeaux. Okay, so if Marseille wins this game and we lose, then Marseille is top of the league. So we need to we need at least a tie here, so we can stay first. 
with another nine games. No, eight games to go. Eight. Let's see. So the only tough game that we still have to play. Yeah, we're going to have Ren away and then Nice. These are the only two tough ones. Everything else is doable. But if we beat PSG, I think we can beat Nice too. Almost game time. Let's check the training. Ready. Yep, and Gazana is back and he trained at the highest level this week. 10 rating, damn. Perry Nielsen, 960. Got it. Nico Bagaric. Yep, he is a beast. Blanco is back. Awesome. Teodoro. Done so. E. Jacobe. Lucio. Abramovich. Olchik. Too bad Olchik has to leave us in a few months. He's gonna go back to Wolves. Wolf is asking for 115 million dollars. So yeah. That's why we signed Sehajic guys. Sehajic will be our new right back. After Olchik is gonna leave. Alright, let's check for additional shooting for Engezana. Nielsen Bagaric. Ball control for Blanco. Teodoro. Danso. Ball control. Di Jacobe. Lucio. Sehajic. Agility and balance. Duel. Malinowski. Defensive positioning. Nare. Dimitrievich, ball control for Joao Vitor. Tag button, strength for Petitjan. Alright. Let's see the starting lineup. Piotr Olchik, tired. Dimitrievich, very tired. Mm-hmm. Blanco is back. Alright, let's put Blanco. Petitjan for Danso. I'm gonna start with Sehajic.
Yep, let's start with Nielsen this game. Let's start with the kid. The Te um, Teodoro didn't score in a few games. He needs a chance, you know. All right. We're ready. Monaco, Bordeaux. We cannot afford to lose this game, guys. Chile. They have a good team, Monaco. Petit Jean for Ingezana. We're losing the ball in a dangerous area. Kabar over the over the bar. Dangerous shot. Hajic passing to Nielsen Blanco for Nielsen Nielsen one-on-one -on -one chance Nielsen oh come on dude that's why we give you a chance come on take advantage of this Teodoro is waiting on the bench that was a huge chance for us to score there's still a kid he still can't control his emotions Bagaric free kick uh counter for monaco can we get the ball back come on get it back putting a lot of pressure oh shit delap padilla and di jacobe with a huge huge save come on it's not over what the hell are we doing Gezana. Bagaric for Axel. We're starting to build from the back again. Petitjan for Abramovic. Shit. Not a mistake there. And this might be a goal now. Post. Oh my god. Delap. Failed to score the same like Nielsen failed to score. So, very close game, but Monaco is pushing. 15 minutes in. God. Sehajic. Abramovic. Rusillo. Come on. Might be a counter here. Nah. Free kick Padilla. Very dangerous one, and we blocked it. Corner kick. Ignatov. Florentino. Still, they have the ball, they have the position, they're putting the pressure. Oh, that was nice, and yep, one nothing. Liam Delap finds the net. Beautiful goal by Monaco. We were under pressure for a long time, guys. Eventually, 
they would have scored anyways and look at that Dimitrovic couldn't stop Della we have to reply until halftime we still have 20 no we still have 25 minutes yep let's score a goal Good, good tackle by Axel Abramovic. Don't lose the ball there, man. Axel. Uh, Sehajic for Ngezana. Okay, Pixel, no worries, man. Do your thing. We'll be here. Petitjan, Rusio, go! Oh, who else than the Pistolero? Rusirio, he's in a top top form this season guys since we since he, we we signed him he cannot stop scoring Petit Jean with his vision look at the cross and Rusirio with the finish 1-1 in a 21st minute of the first half Very quick reply by the Girondin. Come on, Sehajic. You can do it. You can stop him. Yes. Great block. Come on. And another block shot. Corner kick for Monaco. Ignatov. And Dijakobe save hands. Come on, boys. One more goal before halftime. Yeah, they're dominating. Definitely. Sehaj is 6.5. We need to be careful with him. Don't tackle. Good. Easy. Oh, my God. I thought it's a penalty. Gezana there. Jump. Good. Dijakobe save hands. Dimitrovic. Yeah, Nielsen is not having a good game. Bagaric with the free kick. Come on, get it. Good. Good tackle. Just get it, man. Delap. Very good striker, Liam Delap. Dimitrovic. Good interception here. Passing back to G Di Jacobe. Di Jacobe back to Dimitrovic. Trying to find Abramovic here. Abramovic for Nielsen. Big chance for the Danish. Yes! 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 Finally, 2 1 away at Monaco. The Danish wonder kid, Per Nielsen, delivers the goods. I was about to sub him in <laughs> the second half. But what a goal. Abramovic here with an assist. And he's fast, man. And the finishing is great. 2-1. The perfect, perfect uh, first half for us. Come on. Let's not stop. My God, this team is improving. Sehajic. Passing to Bagaric. Bagaric for Rusillo. Rusillo with a nice assist for Nielsen. Don't shoot. And he did. Yeah, they, they choose to shoot from the weirdest positions, man. Rusillo now. Back. With the cross. Ah. If we win this game, I'm going to go pour me a glass of wine. I'm telling you, I'm announcing it right now. This is a huge, huge win if we win. Charles and Gezana 6.5. Okay, halftime 2 1. Delighted.
Ah, uh, let's see here. We're gonna wait for 10 more minutes, 15 more minutes, and see how uh, Hungezana is performing. We might sub him. So we were under pressure for the whole first half, but for, for some reason, we caught him on the two devastating counter attacks. And now we're up to one. Abramovich. Ah. All right. Abramovich has a great game. What was that? No, dude, no. You idiot. Oh my god. Red card, Nielsen. We're gonna lose this one. I'm gonna keep attacking. I'm not defending. I don't care what happens. Always when I defend in this situation, I lose the game. So we're gonna keep putting pressure on Monaco. Hopefully we can get a point here, but... The worst, the worst type of... Uh, situation now, like... Everything was perfect, man. Why? Why? And now, one-on-one -on -one chance for Delap. And Di Jacobe with a huge save. And Gezana 6.5. Come on, let's survive this. Still 29 minutes to go. Hell no, hell no, we can't. Too, too, we, they have too much time. Jeez. The worst, the worst time to get a red card, man. Against the world, like one of the, the the toughest opponent in the league, and also away. Come on, can we get lucky? Can we just score one more goal by mistake? <laughs> no, we can't because we're losing the ball right away. Sehajic, look at this idiot. get it man wow axel come on post oh my god dude can i i can't even look adia with the free kick blocked in another corner jesus Axel. Good. I'm not changing anything. We're gonna change at the end, like when, you know, 90th minute, just for, um, just for tiredness or anything else. Solano with the free kick now. Di Jacobe. Yeah, made a mistake. It's 2 2, guys. <laughs> yeah, Besmer, close your eyes and hope. But they tied the game, guys. And it's coming. The loss is coming now. Let's make some subs, because. What can you do, man? This type of mistakes can decide the title, I'm telling you. Like, Per Nielsen might have cost us the title. So freaking annoying. So Axel, I'm gonna change uh, change him with Dan. So Bagaric and Gezana, I'm not gonna change them. Just Sehajic. I'm gonna put all chicken. And 
Yeah, let's let's see how it's gonna go. Yeah, well, probably next uh, next game I'm gonna play Teodoro because even though he scored Nielsen, he scored you know, and now Solano, <laughs> big save by Dijakon. If we get a point here, it's gonna be unbelievable. Bench him rest of the season. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that pissed off, <laughs> but yeah, he's a kid, man. He's a kid. You can understand. Sometimes they get carried away, you know. Seventy-fifth minute. Petit Jean, don't lose the ball. Good, Abramovic. Can we score a surprising goal? An undeserved goal. Petit Jean, come on, do it again. And he loses the ball. I am not defending. Blanco with the with the steal, but now they counter now. Monaco is countering. Yeah, I knew you were joking. <laughs> I knew, man. Offside. No? We're good? Okay, no, that was offside. Six four, six five in Gezana and Bagaric. Eight more minutes. Eight more minutes. I'm telling you, I cannot even watch. Like, if we get a point here, it's huge. Come on. Yes, Danso. Yes, Blanco. Yes. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> They're heroes. If they get a point here, they are heroes. That it's getting late. It's getting late. Ninety-first minute. Ninety-first minute. Uh oh, oh. Uh, let's make some changes really quick. Let's make some changes. Uh, Vitor for Bagaric. No, for Ngezana. And we'll move Bagaric here. Uh, Fernandez for Bagaric. And we have one more sub. Who, who can we put in? Uh, we just put Danso in. So let's do Petitjan with Nare. Ah, Padilla with the free kick, blocked, and corner kick. 30 seconds, huge point, yes. Fernandez just put the pressure, come on. We're still first, guys, if we don't lose here. Good, Nare, Vitor, Fernandez. Don't lose the ball, you idiot. It's not over. It's not over. Okay, ref. Anytime. Anytime, ref. Thank you. Come on. Big point here for Le Girondin, guys. Yeah, he's checking his watch. Dimitrovic, good. Just wait and wait. We don't care. Yes, one point. Good job, boys. Good job. We're still first. Uh... That's a great performance. I'm going to praise them. Oh, man. So now the, the, the last very, very, very tough game that we have is Nice. That's it. If we beat Nice, I think we're going to, we're going to be champions. Because I can't. 
think we're gonna loot, drop points with Sosho and whatever Lance and whoever we got. We got Ren. But also, Nice has to win all their games. And let's check actually Nice schedule. Nice schedule. Who they have to play? They have to play Monaco next, okay. Which is good. They have to play us and they have to. No, that's it. Monaco and us. They're not gonna lose anything else. Let's see Monaco now. Their schedule. Monaco is gonna play uh, Nice next. They gotta play Lyon and Ren. Oh, that's in the in the cup. Okay, so Monaco has a good chance to go for the for the top. And okay, so let's see Marseille. Marseille plays Ren, play Lyon. They have to play Lille. All right, so fair chances to all teams. I think we all have decent decent chances to go for the first place let's praise Lucio for another goal this guy cannot stop scoring dario abramovich oh but he had an assist though he is improving a lot per nielsen i'm sorry i'm not gonna praise you you just you just robbed us for three points i cannot praise you nielsen suspended and we're gonna find him we're gonna find him two weeks wages you cannot do this to us man you need to learn your lesson yeah it's very close best Murph I agree man one of the closest races for top for the top um, of the league that I've been involved in since <laughs> since I started playing football manager. This is really tight. We're not selling Bagaric, are you kidding me? Two hours and 17 minutes into the stream. The time is flying. We have one, two, three, four games left today. First time for everything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so four games left in today's stream, guys. We're still... Still gonna have a chunk, chunk of of games to play. Tomorrow we're gonna end the season for sure. Tomorrow we're done. But let's make this. Um, let's make today the most progress. Let's win the league today. Let's let's get everything out of the way so tomorrow we can just celebrate. <laughs> that would be that would be awesome. Like I said, if you would have told me in the beginning of the season that we're going to be so tight for the first place in in April, then I would I would I would not believe you to be honest. And uh, I have to answer a phone call. Now I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back.
all right guys i apologize we're ready let's go let's continue yeah i agree best smurf time is flying when you have fun yep i do agree now we have a week until our next game against Traw. This must be a win. Like we can, we can't tie. We can't can't get any more red cards here. Any mistake we do right now is gonna cost us. Definitely, there's a there's a chance we might win the league. There's a chance we might go and finish top four, or there's a chance we go and finish outside of top four it all depends on how we um how we play this last seven games or eight games seven games now yeah seven games see the the the, the chase is the, i mean the race is so tight three points behind i mean between uh, monaco and us just three points if we finish outside top four, we can't play Champions League next season. So, yeah. We, oh yeah, definitely we need Champions League, man. Definitely, that's a must. If I and I'm thinking if we don't finish top four, it, this season is a failure, especially with the new new signings that we uh, we brought in in the winter. Yeah, it's gonna be a failed season if we don't get Champions League. And we're gonna have uh, we're gonna be in trouble financially. So I'm counting on that money from the Champions League. That's uh, close to 20 million that we can get just for qualifying to ch uh, Champions League. So yeah, a lot of pressure. Seven more games. Season 14 is almost done. And the, ch the chairman is never giving us money, so definitely we need to cover the losses with the Champions League money. That's that's all what we can do. Maybe we can sell one or two players. I'm not sure who. Maybe we can sell Nare, but he's not going to bring us too much money. And maybe we can sell Fernandez, the central midfielder. I don't, I don't i don't know who else we can sell just one second i need to silence my whatsapp chat because there's some people here so loud they're all excited my team uh we have a chat on the whatsapp and they're all excited about a classic i need to you know like uh mute the chat for a few hours All right. Done and done. Like I said, Tra is not the same team. Like in the past few seasons, they were hunting for Champions League. And they were playing regularly in Champions League. Now they're just eight. Currently they're eight in the league standings. But we need to be very, very careful. And we have to pray for no injuries.
I didn't expect when I signed with Bordeaux to have such a difficult time into um, winning the league. I thought at some point, after two seasons, we're gonna get a lot of money from the board and we can dominate the league, but nope. He didn't help us at all, at all. Whatever we did at Bordeaux, it's because we sold players. Whatever improvements we did at the club, it's because we constantly sold players. No money from the board in four years now. So you're depending on, on selling every single season. That's why I hate, uh, you know, coaching small teams too. Because if you don't sell next season or in the summer transfer window, you don't get, you know, you don't get better. And this guy got damaged for two, point, two to four weeks injury. Yeah, if you tell a guy like a football manager uh, player, if you tell him like, "Oh, I'm with Bordeaux and we're currently fourth season and we're hunting to to finish first and to win the league," he's gonna be disappointed and tell you like, "Oh, really? Four years and you didn't win the league? Yep. Well, you know that's why, cause cause of the chairman, guys." In a normal environment. You know, you should you should get the money from the TV rights right away. Like they should like pump the money into the squad, not just pretty much they steal it. <laughs> I don't know what they do, but they steal the money. They steal the money out of the club. Yeah, man. And Bessmurf, this is the case with our club. Like the, the chairman, I remember. Like whenever I ask him for money, he never said yes. And whenever he he said once, he said yes. But it was a joke. He gave us like 500k. Are you kidding me? What I'm gonna do with 500k in France in Ligue 1 in France? Nothing. That's just useless. And Wolfsburg knocked out Bodo Glimt, so... So we're gonna get probably another million or a million and a half from uh, the TV rights in Europa League. I know it's still small, a small amount, but anything uh, helps, guys. That's why, Betsmurf, I had to sell in the winter. I had to do a major, major revamping on the club. And I had to let go of you or Pixel. Like, I had to sell starters, you know. I was happy that you guys had a great season until the winter so I can sell you. This is, you know, you have to take this kind of decisions sometimes. It's hard. But otherwise, you're going to stay at the same level, you know. You're never going to improve. And a big game, Nice against Monaco, guys. Let's pray for a tie here. If they tie, the tie is the best result for us. One, one, perfect. It's exactly what we needed. They tied. And now, look at that. Bordeaux, Nice. Marseille, Monaco, we're all... Uh, Monaco has two points less than us. But man, what a tight race. We have seven points ahead of um, Paris Saint-Germain. That's a good, good advantage. So top four is very, very doable now. Yeah, playing the new players kind of like disrupted um, the team's flow, Bad Smurf. 
Uh, we almost, almost bottled the whole season because of too many signings, you know. And yeah, they're great players, but it's useless when when they don't know the tactic. They, you know, they're not gelled with the tactic. They're not familiar, you know. It can backfire. But we we've we've seen signs of improvements right now. I think we still have to play the same same starting lineup whenever possible, so they can you know get even more uh, familiar. See, like the midfielders, they have a relationship right now. Bagaric and Gezana and Blanco, this triangle here, it shows that they are very very um, familiar with each other on the field. Oh, it takes a lot of time. Like, you've seen me in the preseason. We had five hard uh, friendlies. You need that. And that's still not enough. Five friendlies, it's not enough for the tactic to be to be learned, so... Alright, so need to, we need to take out Benjamin Sedfeld. He is injured. Not a... Alright, Teodoro will be back in the squad because Nielsen is suspended <clears throat> yeah we're still in a fight we're still in the fight we're still first which is unexpected we're still first it's a great time to be a Girondin de Bordeaux fan that's for sure <laughs> and Axel is suspended so yeah we're gonna play Danso and old chick back in the team. Bagaric is tired. We're one day away. If we win this game right now, we're going to have two points ahead of uh, second place. That's a very important advantage. Very, very important advantage. We have three easy games. Stra, Sochaux, Strasbourg. Let's get nine points out of this. And if we do get nine points out of this, we're going to have a great, great confidence against Nice. When we play Nice, we'll be ready. already 128 damn half an hour and el clasico is starting also manchester united against brentford mm. marseille beat ran away marseille is first now so now we're fighting against Marseille, guys. Damn. They have three points ahead of us, but we have a game less. And we can't catch a break, man. It, if it's not Nice, it's Marseille. If it's not Marseille, if it's it's Monaco. Right. It's a very hard league in uh, Ligue 1 is super super tough man. <laughs> Not easy. Best move exactly. Not easy. Okay, so Paris plays at Lens. 
And we need the three points. Let's check the training level uh, training levels before we start. Don't forget about this. We never. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. why? Why they change this? Wait a second. No, 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 no. Who changed this? I didn't change it. Yeah, we're not training for the other tactics. We're training for... So annoying. Sometimes the game does it. They, they change the tactic in training here. Uh, it's weird. Maybe the assistant it does it sometimes. He readjusts the tactics. Perfect uh, tactics that we're gonna... That are gonna... Um, work against uh, the next opponent but we want to use the demolition tactic in every single game we don't want to switch what the hell is that that's weird and i gotta change the name of this tactic because it's not really that dominating you know I thought it is, but it's not that dominating. So the demolition name is kind of too much. <laughs> we need to change it. Yeah, well, you've seen you've seen Bessmurf like some minor minor tweaks here by the assistant coach for no reason. Like why? See, like if I click on the tactic. And we go to 4222 or whatever. I don't know. This one, 442 Diamond Narrow. This is what he was on. They were training based on this tactic. And I don't know why. So annoying. Maybe it's just a glitch. I don't know. That's why we double check every single week before every single game we're doing this just to double check everything is in order. All right, let's double check for additional training. Ability in the air. Let's see you. Final third. All right, game day. Everything is set. Everybody is fresh. Petijan, Danso, Dimitrovich, Olchik, Rusilio, Teodor, Abramovich. Yeah, I mean. Three points are a must. Let's go. We're playing in front of the fans, so let's not disappoint them. Teodoro is back in the squad after Nielsen messed up getting a red card against Monaco. Depending on how he's going to play in this game, Teodoro will be still our starting advance forward. We have to keep in mind that Nielsen scored a big goal against a big team that is important 
mistakes will happen in the future probably to any players so we cannot judge Nielsen based on just one game we have to look at the positives now Bagaric for Abramovic Abramovic and uh, near miss still very early second minute and we still 0-0 zero, zero against um, draw ah, thank you Besmurf you like it huh Abramovic is having a bad start of the game with 6.5 rating and a yellow card Come on, boys. We cannot draw this game. This game has to be a win. Blanco. Bagaric. Bagaric. Old oh, chick. Wow. Come on. Dimitrovic. Old oh, chick. Pass it. Blanco. Petit Jean. Danso. Blanco. Petitjan putting still we're still putting pressure here come on come on don't lose it Petitjan and Abramovic oh my god post what a shot by Abramovic twenty seventh minute still zero zero I'm not liking it Oh, big mistake by the goalie. Abramovic, dude. He's not paying attention. He could have scored. Teodoro 6-5. Abramovic 6-5. Okay, we need to tell them we demand more from the team. Come on. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. They have more of the ball, 56% to 44. One, one goal before halftime, come on. Abramovic. In the box. Yes! Ngezana! Oh, God! Blocked. Rusilio still in Gezana. passing to Bagaric! We're playing good, man, but we're not scoring. Now Abramovic is playing better. That's good. Teodoro is sucking now. Good. Good uh, tackle there by Olchik. Blanco. Back to Danso. Abramovic. Very active. Abramovic in the box. Still Abramovic. Olchik. Dude. Blanco Abramovic again in the box man I hope he's gonna score because he's doing all the work mistake mistake Rusillo fucking idiot man I don't know what to tell them now Uh, unlucky unlucky uh, I'm not gonna make any changes yet yet Teodoro don't disappoint me man you're gonna lose uh, you're gonna lose the first team you're not gonna be a starter anymore if you don't score this game Nielsen is scoring Nielsen plays better 6-4 Teodoro. Yeah. Gilbert. Vasquez. Olchik. Good job. Come on. Blanco. We're building from the back. Bagaric. Back to Olchik. Ngezana. Teodoro. Uh, uh, he couldn't get it. But. Abramovic. Yes. 
I'm very, very happy he scored because he is the hardest worker in this game, Abramovich. Very good steal there by, um, by I think it was Rusilio, right? And Gezana for Teodoro. He couldn't get to the ball. Yeah, Rusilio with assist. And what a finish by Abramovic. Golazzo, yes, Besmer. We're in it, man. We're back to being first now. We need to be very careful. The game is not over. 54th minute. Now, Troa has a chance. Easy. Stop with the tap. Oh my god. Dimitrovic for Teodoro. Teodoro, good. Finally. Ngezana back to Abramovic. Abramovic cuts inside. Passing to Teodoro, but he can't get to it. Oh boy, this is uh, this is their chance. Big chance for Troa. And Di Jacobe, safe hands. Okay, Teodoro plays better now, 6-6. Six, six. That's good. We don't change him. 6-5 again. Bagaric, come on. One more goal, boys. Bagaric. Rusilio was there. Rusilio. Putting the pressure, forcing uh, Troa to switch sides. Come on, get it. Olchik, great, great. Uh, interception and Rusilio, blocked shot, corner kick. Ngezana, 60th minute. We need one more goal, boys. We need one more goal. This cannot... <laughs> cannot stay like this until the end of the of the game. I know I know this game. I know Troy is going to come back. We need to put one more in. Done so. Dimitrovic. Olchik. Olchik. Teodoro, Rusilio, and Corner. We're doing all the right things until the finish. Gezana. Bagaric. Petitjan. Bagaric. Back to Petitjan. Danso, Dimitrievich. Come on. Good, good pass to Petijan in the box. Abramovic. Oh my god. What a save by Garcia. Man, Abramovic is putting the work. I'm proud of this, uh, this player. Blanco, Blanco, still Blanco. Petitjan. Come on, Teodoro, you gotta step up, man. And Gezana with a yellow card and 6.5. Why? Why you're struggling, dude? 6.6 six now, 6.5 six again. All right, we have to take him out. Let's give a chance to Sehovic. Or Sehajic, not Sehovic. Sorry about that. Uh, Malinovsky for Teodoro. I gave you almost 80 minutes, Teodoro, and you didn't do jack shit. Olchik, Bagaric, Sehajic, Rusillo. And blocked shot again. Man, how many how many shots are blocked and corner kicks and so annoying. Damn. 
Six minutes left. Please don't choke in the last two minutes like we did against... Uh, who was it? Marseille or who... Oh no, Saint-Etienne. They scored in a 90-second minute. Olchik gets inside. Stehajic, Stehajic, over the bar. We deserve to win this game. 18 shots to 4. I mean, seriously. There you go. Look at what the game does. 90th minute. Again. 4 minutes of extra time. And look at that. And... Blanco, we're getting the ball back. We're lucky this time. Rosilio. Rosilio looking for a pass. Cuts inside. Cuts inside. Passing to Abramovic with the assist. And Sehajic. The stadium erupts here at Madmut Atlantic with the second goal of the game. And uh, officially, guys, we're getting the three points. Deserved, deserved win. What a goal by uh, the sub. Finally some justice. Yes, Besmurf. There you go. After so much pressure that we put on uh, Tra. They gave up in the end. Okay, Blanco with the last, probably the last highlight of the game. Big win. Big win for uh, Le Girondin. Wonder Kid, Sehajic. Top 5 Wonder Kid in the world. The Bosnian central midfielder. Uh oh. Almost. Abramovic is not gonna give up. He's gonna. Go 100% until the, the last minute of the game. Great performance by the Croatian. We signed him from Basel and we knew he can uh, bring quality to the team. Sehajic again. Sehajic switches to Rosilio. And Paul. Uh, welcome back, Pixel. We uh, we tied Monaco, man. We tied 2-2. We could have won, but we got a red card. So, we tied. We got one point. We're still first. Bagaric with the free kick. And another three points here. Great job. Great job, boys. Yeah. Yeah, we were very lucky because they were putting a lot of pressure on us, man. But... We, uh, in the end, we, we stole a point at Monaco. And uh, Abramovic and Sehajic here with the goals. Still top of the league. Six games left. Yeah, it was a way. Yep. It was a way, man. Man, look at this. So now we're three points in front of Nice. Now it's probably between us and Marseille because Nice is losing ground. Also, Monaco is losing ground. So top four is pretty much in the bag. Because like we're nine points in front of Strasbourg, who's fifth. So yeah, it looks like next season we're, we're playing Champions League, guys. Buying some dominoes for the <laughs> for the fan today for the game. <laughs> nice, nice best Murph. That's the life, man. Oh yes, you make me hungry now. I love dominoes. Dario Abramovic with a goal and great performance. And Sehajic also. Look at this guy. Oh, he is improving. 18 years old, Bosnian. He looks like a killer. Like a hitman. <laughs> so versatile. He can do 
right back in very soon he's gonna be able to do right back he can do central midfielder this guy can can play a lot of positions man fairly strong left foot very strong right foot very very talented kid six games unbeaten for Le Girondin good times at Bordeaux if we beat if we beat Nice I think we're champions guys I was about to open uh, one bottle of wine if uh, we were going to win against Monaco, but... Ah, Nielsen ruined the party. Party pooper with the red card. April 13, 2036. My boys showed how good they are. Oh, yeah. Now we're traveling to Sosho. We need to rest, recoup. Get back to work. We got Sosho, Strasbourg, and Nice, guys. And we're going to end the stream. So three more games. I know you boys are going to watch the games uh, on TV. So enjoy. I don't think my phone uh, is charge so i'm probably gonna miss the first half but yeah keep me uh keep me updated with um uh, with what's happening in el clasico and at uh, manchester united against brentford i'm curious so paris saint germain lost against Lens. yeah yeah they're done no chances to win the league this season again Oh, you're watching on your phone, Bessmurf? Okay. I thought you are going to watch it on TV. Yeah, I understand, guys. You, you can't stay, like, five hours with me on the stream. So, I understand. Like, <laughs> I really appreciate you even staying for, like, so long right now. Like, we're two... No, we're three hours. Three hours and three minutes. So, yeah, I really appreciate your support, boys. We're very close. We're very close to getting the first trophy at Bordeaux. After so much hard work... Hopefully it's gonna pay off. And the board is delighted with the club vision progress. So yep. We already achieved... <laughs> Uh, the, they uh, they wanted me to finish top half this season. Are you kidding me? <laughs> top four, you mean? I watch second half after the stream on TV. Yeah. Well, we still have three, um, like I said, three games. So I th think, yeah, we can be done by the by, by when they start the second half. See what's going on here. Yeah always like it's good to have it on your phone too just in case we're not gonna be done you know with uh, uh it's it's in entertaining because the last game of the stream is nice so <laughs> this is why i want to you know stream it until we play that game and then we're done that's gonna be the game of the season probably at home 
I need to beat Nice, man. I'm gonna be uh, with my eyes on sofa score too, just in case. Did uh, Fiorentina and Cremonese late or no? Let me see here. No, they didn't at 2 o'clock. They're starting. I have Fiorentina to win. And... Let me open DraftKings. Dario Abramovich is a beast. 140 current ability. Only 20 years old. How many goals he scored yet? Five goals in 12 games already. Four assists. Two player of the match. Great player. Only 5 million we paid for him. But you you can tell. It's 5 million plus 50% future fee. So in case we're selling. Yeah. Half of the profit we have to give it to Basel. Um... Yeah, I got Fiorentina to win at Cremonese. I got Sporting to win at Gil Vicente. I got West Ham or Thai against uh, Newcastle. I got Man United to win against Brentford. And I got Real Madrid to tie or win against Barcelona. These are my pre-bets today. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, a lot of football today on TV. So yeah, I know Pixel. Hard to decide, man. Okay, best Murph. Thank you, man. Thank you for uh, for being here. I'm gonna need all the support I can against Nice. We have to we have to beat Nice. Petitjan is improving. Let's check it out. Eh. He can do better. 18 years old, by the way. This guy. 140 current ability. <laughs> what a future we have, man, at Bordeaux. The future is so bright, we gotta wear shades. Or ESPN, let's see. I'm not sure. You might be able to watch Libertadores if you have fox yeah i think i have fox i mean i think i have fox but uh that do they do they uh show it on fox or fox uh soccer or fox one i'm not sure because they have many foxes <laughs> i'm not sure which one yeah yeah that sucks because you have to choose between the classic one manchester united you know You're watching on Colombian channel, yeah. But I can watch it on my phone on illegal websites, so I have an illegal website. I can, you know, I can watch it on my phone too. And definitely I'm gonna watch uh, Atletico Nacional later. Now I'm a fan, I have to. <laughs> it's gonna be a full day of games today. Look at this guy. Unbelievable how good this guy is. Ken Robin from AZ Alkmaar. 18 years old. Left back. My god, what, what a player. Oh, you're not sure you're watching on Colombian channel? Uh, why not both? <laughs> yeah. Um, the Romanian channels. Uh, I um, also watch them on illegal websites because we don't. I mean, we do have some uh, some companies that are streaming the Romanian channels, but you have to pay. So I don't want to pay for those, you know. Because I just use them only when they're like having games, the uh, Liga One games, you know. Only when I they have good games I watch. Other than that, nah. It's 
Two days away, guys. Yeah, for the Colombian League, you cannot buy any use. Yep. They leave you no choice, exactly. But there's plenty of options, man. Um, I can give you that illegal website on Discord if you want. If you want to check it out. You can use it on the phone and they have all the leagues. Whenever... Uh, whenever you can't find a way to watch your favorite game, you can check out this channel. They usually, usually they have all old games. Not all, not only soccer, they have all sports too. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Almost there. Per Nielsen is back from suspension, I think, and this guy is. We're gonna, this guy's gonna become way, way, way better than uh, Teodoro, that's for sure. No, no, no. <laughs> I know, Pixel, of course not. And Marseille, 3 2 win against Lyon. Ah, I was hoping they're gonna choke, man. Now they have only easy games now. Let me double check. Ah, uh, they have Lille away. That's the only game they can lose at Lille. Or... Reims at home, but not really. I think they're gonna clean house until the end of the season. So we have to do the same, otherwise... They're gonna win the league. We have Nice. We have Nice, that's... That's the big if. Yeah, it's going to be hard, man. But like I said, Champions League is in the bag because we have nine points in front of fifth place. So Champions League next season for sure. Now the question is, can we win the league? <laughs> team meeting no we don't need to do that I did this team meeting before um, I played Bayern München in the final of Champions League in FM22 with my Romanian side and I messed, messed it up I don't know why the players reacted bad to my uh, encouragement attempts you know that i was trying to to pump them up for the champions league final they reacted badly we still played great but we lost 4-3 in the extra time in the 94th minute after we had three nothing at halftime think about that let that sink in you you lose the champions league final after you have three nothing at halftime This is how we lost the Champions League in FM22. Yeah, so that's why I don't do the team meetings anymore. F that. Oh, God, no, no. Look at this. This is exactly what's happening to me every single time in... The most important games, four months, three to four months, Blanco injury, broken ankle. The best player at the club. Yeah, PC out the window. And now I feel the same. I feel like I want to smash the freaking screen, man. God. during training yep unbelievable the best player at the club out for the rest of the season well petit jean you have to grow some balls because you are the starter now petit jean is the starter and we have to play with danso 
Don so is gonna be starting as a inside wing back. Inverter wing back, not inside wing, inverter wing back. God painful. Very painful. <laughs> yes, balls. Grow some balls, man. Yeah, we have to fight. We have to fight. Otherwise, we don't deserve. If we're gonna win the league, it's because we fought. And Per Nielsen back in the squad. Teodoro on the bench. He disappointed me last last game. And Rob Griffiths back in the squad. Man, it's gonna be tight. It will be really, really tight. Three hours and 16 minutes into the stream. Nice at Tra. Monaco plays home at Lens. Come on. Come on, Tra. Help a brother. Three to four months injury. Poor Blanco. You can call me however you want, guys. <laughs> everybody, everybody calls me Adi. My parents, my brother, everybody calls me Adi. My wife. <laughs> so you can call me however you want. Yes, and Nice lost, and Monaco lost. Boom! And now it's just us and, and Marseille, guys. If we win this game, if we win Sochaux, uh, uh, if we win against Sochaux, we are going to be fighting only against Marseille. And it's starting to get really, really, really late and tight. Five games left. How many games left? Six. Six games left without this one. No, actually with this one, six. Yeah, I'm blind. We st we stopped losing at least. We didn't lose since, what? Uh, the end of February. That's good. Yes. Yes, guys. We have a chance now to go back on top. And to win the league with a win against Nice, that's the, the the only the only hard game that we have left this season. Too bad, Pixel, Batsmurf, Schmilios are not at the club anymore to experience the feeling of winning Liga. But we will give uh, the medals. We will send them the ma the champions medals. Um, to whatever they play now. They they play uh. In Spain, they play in Germany. Uh, Schmilios is with uh, Ghent in Belgium. We will never forget these three, three huge players. They contributed to uh, to our season, so they deserve it. Game day, come on, boys. This is another must-win game. Let's check the training levels. Suomi? No, I don't. Suomi, Finland. <laughs> that's uh, that's their language, right? Finnish language or something like that. Yeah, that's Finland. Yep. No, I don't. <laughs> I barely can speak English, man. <laughs> you give me way too much credit. You're playing a game in Finland. Which team? You 
Oh, not FM? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen Shmilios, he's doing his shooting game. Escape from uh, Tarkov, I think. Me and Shmilios, we're gonna drink coffee together most of the times, most of the, uh, the training days uh, at Asane. He said he's gonna bring coffee. Because he lives close by. And I told him, I just... You know, I just drink Starbucks, nothing else. Some game about building cars and drinking beer. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> Sign me up. Although the beer makes you kind of like... Oh, beer puts me to sleep. Pixel Colombian coffee, that's the best. Yes. But I think... Do you think Starbucks is not Colombian? I think they use Colombian coffee, man. Their recipe gotta be Colombian. Because Colombian coffee is the best. You cannot compete with Colombian coffee. West, Com West Ham Newcastle... Oh, not good. Oh yeah, direct from the farm, that's the best. Yeah, that's hands down the best. And see, again, they switch my tactic. Why? Idiots. So we cannot check the training levels for some reason. Whatever. I think uh, we did it earlier. So they don't need, we don't need to check it, I guess. Let's check actually the additional. Let's check additional. Ability in the air for Teodoro. I sent my dad such a funny video earlier about Atletico Nacional. <laughs> what what was about Pixel? Corners. Let me double check really quick. Lacao, <laughs> not Falcao. <laughs> Is it like GTA? That's <laughs> nice. So funny, dude. Even the carpet is Atletico Nacional badge. Nice. GTA, yep. San Andreas Atletico Nacional fan. <laughs> if you would, yeah, you would paint your house white and green. I know. I know. I would do the same, man, with you, for sure. All right, so Niko Bagaric is very tired, but he will play. We're going to try to get the three points here. Let's go, boys. Nielsen back in the squad, back in the first 11. He scored against Monaco. And now he's playing way better than Teodoro. So Teodoro on the bench. No room for errors, guys. Any mistake here will cost us the title. The players are right now under a lot of pressure. They need all the support. We need to stop making mistakes like the red cards. 
Let's go. We're playing away. Hostile environment here. Hostile environment at Sosho. And it's raining. The weather is not with us. Mm. Surprised that was not an offside. But anyways. Polchik. And Gezana. Come on, boys. Dimitrevich. I hope Petit Jean can replace Blanco successfully. They're both wonder kids. They're both playing the same position. And Gezana, and Gezana. Ah, why you 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 choose to shoot from all the the the, the worst angles possible? Bagaric, Petit Jean, Abramovic in the box. Very aggressive. Come on, we need to score a very very early goal. Come on. Oh, yeah. uh, dangerous chance here for Sosho and one nothing for Sosho they are breaking their uh, they're breaking our hearts guys very early goal by Sosho unexpectedly on a, on a counter attack here Axel didn't didn't tackle Dimitrovic again got got tricked by Karimov. Beautiful, beautiful goal by Sosho. Gezana 6-5. I hope so, Besmurf. I hope so. Let's score a goal before halftime. Oh, done so with a bad, bad mistake. Somebody has to step up. Somebody has to grow some balls, like I said. No! Yeah. Uh, it's, if it's not an offside, it's a goal for sure. It's a goal. Do nothing. Yeah. Can't believe it. This is how we're losing the league, guys. Our dream is almost over. Two mistakes. We have a mountain to climb now. Oh god, come on, Bagaric. Gezana. Offside. Good. Rosilio. Come on. Fight, guys. Fight, fight, fight. They have to make mistakes, too. Unexpected. Unexpected um, mistakes, man. Can't believe it. And Gezana, yellow card, too. Shit. Rosilio for Nielsen. Nielsen shot blocked. Nothing goes our way. Gezana for Danso. Danso in the box. Danso in the box. And he's losing it. Abramovic 6 5 and Gezana 6 3 now. Olchik 6 5. Everybody's playing bad. And I don't understand why. Bagaric. Axel Petitjean. And offside, yep. Rusilio was offside. Pedro with the free kick. Oh my god, Di Jacobe with a huge save.
I told you guys losing Blanco was um, was a major major factor of this outcome right now. Blanco was holding the midfield. Dimitrovic passing to Nielsen. Nielsen block shot. Man, everybody. Everybody sucks in this game. And so Shaw is like, seriously, they're 15th in the league. There's no explanation why we're not winning this game. Show me something else, second half. Yeah, man. Because like, Marseille has only easy games now. So like, they're destroying everyone. Uh, Alright, let's put Sehajic for Ingezana. Bagaric has a Metsala attacking Sehaji here because we need now we need to take something back out of this. So, um, all right, we'll wait for 10 more minutes and then we'll make more subs. Blanco was a big blow. Yeah, I agree, Besmer. Blanco was... Like I said, Blanco is the best player in our team. The players are visibly affected by something because their confidence is very, very low. Bagaric! And... They, like, when you can't take advantage of these errors, he could have scored here. He could have scored. Everybody 6'4, 6'5, 6'4 Axos, Danso 6'4, like, you know, it's out of my hands at this point. Let's put another, um, Bagaric 6'4, let's do Joao Vitor. And old chick also. Six three. Let's do Sehajic. Hernandez. I'm gonna overload because we have nothing, you know, nothing left, no hope. So even if we're gonna lose three, four, nothing, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna overload. And another mistake by Axel. Why? Why? What happened? Three, nothing. Look at this. Look at Axel. The game of their lives. So Shaw chose to play the game of their lives against us today. Rosillo, 6-2. I did all of the changes, so... And how can you encourage the team at 3-0? You can't. You cannot. Nielsen. Abramovic, 3-1. Too late, man. Too late. We got... Yeah, FM exactly. Petitjan for Nielsen. Nielsen passing to... Abramovic there in the box. At least we scored one. Joao Vitor. 
What the hell is that, dude? Just header from 25 meters, man. 6 1 Rusillo. What happened to you? Petijan with the steal. Dimitrovic. And we had some chances to, to score. First half. We didn't take advantage. They scored whatever they had. They put it in. Almost 100% efficiency for so sure. At least let's finish top three. Let's not let Nice go over us. Fernandez, Nielsen, Rusillo. See this kind of this kind of chances. This kind of chances. How? How do you miss from so close? João Vitor. <laughs> the worst. The worst. Always shooting in their stupid legs. Rosilio. João Vitor. That was the last. The last hope for something. 15 shots to 6 for us, of course. The XG is in our favor, of course. But it's 3-1 for Sosho. Oh, man. Painful, painful loss. Mistake and offside. Offside. Because that guy is an idiot. Oh, wow. It's not an offside. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. I thought they, um, they let it go, but nope. Come on, ref, just end it. We know. Four years in charge at Bordeaux and we didn't win anything. Rashford, nice. Menu is winning. That's good. <laughs> I should do the same thing, but for different reasons, Pixel. I'm gonna send the assistant because I'm too pissed off. Right when we needed the most to step up and win this easy games. Look, there's they're fifteenth man. Fifteenth. Fifteenth.
<laughs> yep. Oh man. I'm too upset, man. Too upset to even read the stupid answers. Hard work for the whole season and you just <clears throat> dump on your chances in the last five games, four games left, you know. Well... Pixel, you have to stay uh, confident because even though Atletico Nacional is playing away, at least um, from what you said, they have a good chance to win. So, three points. I think Atletico will get it. Three points today. Two games left, guys. We're getting closer to the end of the stream. I would have hoped for a better end of today's uh, show. <laughs> but so show. They did it. They ruined our dreams this season. Oh yeah, definitely. And I really don't like David Moyes. Don't like him at all. I don't think uh, I don't think they're gonna relegate, but it's so disappointing for West Ham after last season. They had a great, great season. Probably uh, the only reason why they still don't fire him is because of the Europa League run, you know. That's why Besmer, if I don't like him at all, like the way the way he handled the team after Ferguson retired, he just. And this guy, six weeks injury. Dude, like, how can I compete if you kill me like this? Like, injured, like, they injured all my players. Come on. So freaking unfair, man. That's the only way we lost it. Uh, we could have lost the title. Oh, yeah. He was, yeah, exactly, Pixel. He just started the, um,. The downhill of uh, of that club and i don't know what recommended him to get the job like just because sir alex ferguson liked him but yeah you need to have some he was at everton for a bunch of years before he signed with menu but he what did he do they just like you know they were a mid-table team all the time so whatever this guy is improving our new starter. So Nielsen is going to be in the team till the end of the season. I don't care. Teodoro had his chances. He had a decent season, but for the numbers that he has, he's just scored six goals in 23 games. Not enough. Not enough, man. We might uh, consider selling him, actually. Let's see. Ah, he's 26. Price tag 2.8 between 2.8 and 5.8 million. Nah. Yeah, have some balls. Yeah, <laughs> I agree, man. And Gezana is suspended for the next game. Thank you. So we're missing Blanco. We're missing Ingezana. 
We're missing Abramovich for the next game. Nice, 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 nice. And we're playing Danso as a left, um, as an inverted wing back because he is uh, having a le strong left foot and very strong right foot. He is a wonder kid. He can do it. He's fast enough. Four days until our game against Strasbourg. Now we have to pray to the FM gods that Marseille is going to choke. And they're going to lose at least two games by the end of the season. Otherwise, they will win the league, guys. We have to win everything. We have to beat Strasbourg. We have to beat Nice. We have to beat Lens. We have to beat Rennes. rest my back a little bit man close to four hours guys we're going deep today Fiorentina won nothing at Cremonese nice that's uh one of my pre-bets today Barca Real Madrid 0-0 zero, zero. good 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 Yeah, thank you, Best Murf. I just saw that right now. Galatasaray losing at home against Besiktas. I hope they're gonna at least tie. Galatasaray is a very good season, man. Uh, I think Senor, Senor Gunesh is their coach. Last season, they had a horrible, horrible year. But this season, man, yeah. They had like a 12 or 13 wins in a row. They're still first, I think. Oh, Bashak Shihir, not Besiktas, okay. Okan Buruk is not Senor Gunesh? Hmm. Really? Let me double check here. They lost. Yep, they lost at home. Wow. Okan Buruk, you're right, man. I think Senor Gunesh is a Turkey national team coach. Oh, this is the cup, though. Oh, okay, that's fine. They lost in the cup, dude. It's not the league. In the league, they're good. Probably they use backups or something. The title race, hot top. Hmm. Two days away. Can we come back out of this? Marseille and Cruz. Until the uh, end of the season, they have only easy games. They're gonna clean house. Oh yeah, I love Turkish football. I love Galatasaray because of, you know, back in the days, Haji, Jika Popescu, our great Romanian player that played for Galatasaray, you know. Popescu used to be um, 
the captain of Barcelona be before he uh, signed with Galatasaray, you know. So, yeah. But uh, nowadays, Turkey has a uh, great, great, uh, great football. I like their... It's very entertaining to watch. And especially for my betting strategies, man. Turkey is always... Always uh, helping me with my bets. Because I play early goals for Turkish games and they always score very early. Oh, the fans are the best. And Ren beat Paris 2 0. Paris Saint Germain is really out of the Champions League discussion. The fans are awesome in Turkey. So, so passionate. I like their reaction at every goal. It's like it's like the stadium erupts, man. And same in Spain. I like how they react in Spain. For like every goal is like, oh, it's like you can't, like your your eardrums are gonna explode, you know. Imagine scoring a goal on those stadiums. Like the feeling of scoring a goal with those fans in the stands. Oh my god. I'm gonna piss my pants. Alright, we're very, very close. Yeah. And my dreams too, don't worry. <laughs> I had a lot of dreams like that. Wet dreams. They're called wet dreams. <laughs> I'm not gonna do any team meeting. I'm not gonna ruin my chances. So, Nice is playing Sochaux at home. That's a win. Marseille didn't play yet. At least um, tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow we will uh, definitely... Because probably later I'm going to play a little bit on my own. Probably a few more hours. So tomorrow I think we are going to start a new season. Or at least a preseason tomorrow. Season 15. That's why I want to play the Nice game in this stream. So we can have a bigger picture. If we can still hope to win the league or not. So... Two more games. Both games are gonna be played at home in front of the fans. So Leon, haha, <laughs> Nice died 2-2, too, too. okay. Thank you, Nice. Thank you for help, helping. So, we're still second. We're still second, guys. Yeah, they're losing ground. They're slowing down. So what do you think guys if we finish second this season is it a su successful season or not your honest opinion i don't want i don't want you to lie to me just say it straight is it a successful season or just do you think we should continue with this uh, tactic or we should switch it back to the other one Yeah, I mean, 
Hmm. We could have probably had a successful season with the other tactic too. So, but I think, I think overall we score less goal, less goals with this tactic, with the new tactic, but we're more constant, I think. I remember last season with the other tactic, we had a very slow start. Like we lost four games out of five. So this is, this is why I decided to change something in the end we had a very good finish so i don't know both th both tactics are working you just can decide which one is better than the other okay pixel we'll be here man what do you think bad smurf we should keep this tactic we should try again one more season Let's do the training schedules really quick. Seti Jan is slowing down in form. Okay, so we're gonna keep this one. Okay, I'll take your advice and I'm gonna keep using this tactic even even if we finish second or even third you know it's still champions league still champions league man we're doing the training levels really quick and then moving on with the strasbourg game at home and Nice is gonna be the last one today. I'm already feeling it. My back is killing me. So yeah, my my streams usually are between two hours and three hours. But today we are going longer because we wanna we wanna get closer to the end of the season. All right, this one's I'm not going to touch. Let's go check for the additional. His endurance. Well, if we're don't winning, if we're not winning the the, um, the season this this year, then next if we're not winning the league, God, I'm, I can't talk anymore. If we're not winning the league this season, then next season for sure we need to win it. I can't stay 5 years at a club without winning jack shit. We need to we need to win the league next season. And I hope the chairman heard what I just said. Why we can just have like a Saudi Arabian chairman, dude. Qatar, Saudi Arabia, why not? Okay, best Smurf, no worries, man. All right, we're ready. We're well, starting with Malinovsky, Nielsen, and Rusillo, Bagaric, Joao Vitor, and Petit Jan, Olchik, Dimitrovic, Axel, and Dan. So this is the the best starting 11 that i you know could come up with. yeah let's try sehajic for this one let's try him why not we need anyways we need him for the next season to to learn his position so why not old chick kind of disappointed me lately so all right let's start Mm. 
Mm. We are the favorites. Go there and make a difference. Oh, man. Say Hajic. Bagaric. Rusirio. Good shot by Rusirio. We're putting the pressure very early, which is good. Joao Vitor, Petit Jean. Dimitrovic, Bagaric. So, uh, why are we making this kind of mistakes, man? Corner kick. Nielsen Axel over the bar Dimitrovic for Petitjan Tehajic good ball for Rusilio Rusilio with the cross Malinowski and blocked shot again Can't find the net, man. Sehajic, Rusillo, Nielsen, Nielsen looking to cross. Uh, gets tackled, he still gets the ball. Nielsen crosses for Malinowski and over the bar. We're playing a little better than uh, last game against Osho. Come on, come on, chase, chase. Strasbourg. And we get the ball back. Nielsen is ha helping our defense. Rusillo for Bagaric. Bagaric. Beautiful pass for Malinowski. Nothing comes out of it. Done so Malinowski Nielsen Nielsen in the box block shot again how many block shots dude Jean Vitor with the corner Bagaric Jean Vitor again in the box Bagaric Petit Jean and one nothing deflected i think it's gonna stand i think it's gonna stand but let's see the referee decision beautiful finish by uh, petit john there nope disallowed disallowed let's let's double check what happened well actually nielsen scored but petit john with the uh with a shot oh yeah, yeah, yeah. um malinovsky was offside Done so. Malinowski switches to Bagaric. 
Bagaric for Nielsen. Nielsen! And another miss. Dude. one for Newcastle at halftime Real Madrid won nothing at Barcelona I knew it pixel no worries man do your thing uh, thank you for being here today, dude. So, um, I'm gonna watch the game later on. I hope Atletico will win it. Yeah, it's okay. Um, most likely you're not gonna be here because uh, it's four days away, the, the Nice game. So, yeah, don't rush. Do your thing. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Take care. Enjoy the game later. Yeah, we're still... Oh yeah, the definitely, man. We'll watch it and... Uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully they're gonna have an easy game. I don't want them to, to, to struggle like, like we do here. So yeah, I'll talk to you later, man. Definitely talk to you later. Still 0 0, guys. We cannot find the way to score even against Strasbourg. Bessmer, welcome back, man. We're struggling, we're struggling again. The players cannot cope with the pressure. This is the only explanation why we're still 0-0 now. And big chance now for Strasbourg and 1-0. What a blow. What a blow for, for us, man. Can't believe it. Rocio, we can't just, we can't score. We cannot put it in. Unbelievable. If we don't score a, a very early goal at after the halftime, yeah, we're, we're going to lose. Show me something else. Second half. So... I'm gonna put Jean Vitor for Petit Jean. Mm, Sehajic here. Let's see Sehajic for the Metzala support and Olchik in the squad. 650 Marlinovski. Marlinovski 650. I'm gonna keep an eye on him for another 10 15 minutes and then we're gonna sub him. Uh, 
Oh, man. Come on, quick go, quick go. I don't want to overload yet, because... There's still some time. Vitor. Come on. They need to make a mistake too, not only us, man. And Malinovsky 6 4. Okay, I, I've seen enough. We're gonna put in um, uh, uh, Teodoro. Joe Vitor with the corner Dimitrevich Joe Vitor Olchik I think it's an offside Yep Mother Oh so annoyed uh, offside. I don't want to look at it. Two goals is allowed this game. Two. Not only one. Two. Demand more. I'm going to overload. Fuck it. Mara again. Wow. Two nothing. What just happened, man? Like, after Blanco got injured, like, we just collapsed. Dimitrovich too. I don't have anybody to sub him with, so... It is what it is, guys. We tried, we failed. The game against Nice is pointless now for winning the league. Yeah, Besmer. Our dreams are over. So painful, you know. We uh, we were pretty much on top of the league for the first for the whole year. And look at that! Like, look, what do I have to do for you to score that freaking goal, man? One on one with the goalie for the fifth time this game, and you can't put it in. Like, nothing clicks, nothing. Yeah, the best players of the squad, Gezana and Blanco. And when I knew something like this is going to happen, like I knew we somehow we're going to get, you know, FM'd. How, how, how undeserved, man. Like, they don't deserve this. I'm telling you, like, Marseille don't deserve to win the league. We were dominating for the whole season. 
and they just got it like because of our injuries and suspensions this is how they won the league yeah sadly you're right by smurf they happen every single save the the good part of this season is that we we're gonna get champions league that's all we can you know say about it and look at this look at this like what what how can i make that guy score If you can't put that in one on one chance with the goalie, then. It's over. We lost at home. We lost at home. We lost at Sochaux. And now we're losing at home. Yep, Marseille won their game. Now they're four points ahead of us. We're saying goodbye to first place, but let's fight to stay second at least. We deserve at least a second place. In the summer, we will... Uh, We'll try to get rid of the Deadwood again. Players that fail to impress. And I'm keeping an eye on Teodoro. Because Nielsen is definitely starting for us. Starting material. And Teodoro, with these numbers, he has only six goals. Six goals in the... in, in like How many games? Games, 27. Okay, so 10 goals in 27 games overall. But in the league, though... When we needed him the most, he didn't deliver. 17 finishing. 17 jumping reach. 17, I mean, everything is 17, dude. Emergency backup? Wow. This is what we... <laughs> he agreed to sign for us as an emergency backup. And Gezana is back now. Too late, bro. Too late. We're done. Done and dusted. How can we play like this after you beat Paris Saint-Germain, man? You beat PSG and then you lose against Strasbourg and... So sure. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do, best Murph. Yeah, I agree. We have some kids, like two or three kids that we signed. Yeah, we're not going to have money. 100% we're not going to have money, so we have to sell. I'm thinking to sell Teodoro. Let's go here, so... Teodoro is w number one target of uh, next season to sell. Uh, because I hope I'm going to get close to 10 million. Hopefully, 10 million for him. Uh, I'm trying to sell, let's see here, maybe Jao Vitor. Because this guy, is, this guy stopped improving 
And we can get some decent amount of money for him too. He's uh, counting as a foreign too. And Adil Nare. So I hope I'm going to make like around 15 million. 15 to 20 million out of these three players. And with the money from Champions League league phase because we're gonna go straight to the champions league league phase i hope we can improve the squad so this is the plan we have three players that we can sell we uh we're gonna lose old chick we're gonna lose danso because they go back to their clubs yeah it's gonna be tough man but i'm trying to to um to keep the same tactic for the next season even though right now i'm pissed off and it's hard to to uh to decide but i think the tactic overall did well it's just we kind of collapsed in the end because of uh blanco and gezana we missed them so much yeah yeah man we'll go again we're not gonna quit we're not quitters here <sighs> last game of the stream guys three days away four days away it doesn't matter anymore because we know marseille is cruising to a new league title for them but we need the second place. Let's get the second place now. Maybe we can sell... Um, maybe we can sell Fernandez too. We have four players that we can get some money out of. Yeah, Fernandez too. This guy right here. We signed him for free last season and he's wanted now by genoa so maybe we can get a few millions like five or six millions who knows the injury bad smurf yeah man i think with blanco and gezana available at those those games i don't think we would have lost i don't know if we would have won but at least we wouldn't lose you know man i was hoping that with this tactic we're gonna we're gonna win the league i really really i was confident we're gonna win the league the way we started the season with with a way way less skilled team we didn't have this quality in the beginning of the season and we were like first for like the whole the first six months we were first first part of the season we dominated and after that when we signed new players we lost ground Nice came closer and closer. Marseille also got really close. And this is the story of the season. Uh, let me double check. But yeah, I think we're going to lose two or three uh, players on loan. Malinovsky is going back. Olchik is going back. Uh, let me see here. So yeah, Malinovsky for sure goes back. See two months um old chick is going back and danso is going back and danso is a big deal because danso can play all positions he can play left he can play center he can play right yeah six seven players are gonna be out of the squad yeah Seffeld, we signed him and he's gonna join on a permanent contract in the in the summer, you know. But he's just a deep deep backup. He's too young right now, so we can't rely on him. Yeah. Six seven players with the selling. So who knows? Who knows? Hopefully we're gonna get good money out of uh, Joao Vitor. Maybe 10, 10, 15 million. I'm, I'm counting that some some teams are going to pay good money because he's still young. 
uh, we had uh, Al Hilal or Al something, Al Nasser offering 10 million uh, in the winter, but I said no. So who knows? Anything is possible. Yeah. But yeah, let's let's finish the stream with uh, with a positive positive uh, with positive vibes. Let's hope to get a win here, even though it won't matter anymore. We're still playing in front of the fans. We disappointed them with uh, the loss against Strasbourg, but let's let's get the three points here. yeah yeah i'm gonna try best Merv. i'm gonna try to uh, first to see how much money we can uh, work with you know i'm gonna try to move quick T tonight i'm gonna play uh some more i'm gonna advance some more and tomorrow oh look at this guy knudsen yeah tomorrow we're gonna do more scouting and we're gonna search for more players but yeah first let's see how much money we can work with and definitely six seven players um we either can loan we have five loans available so that's good we can maybe we can find some good good loans you know and we don't have to pay that much because usually loans are cheaper than straight uh straight buys yeah and it's good that next season it's gonna be really entertaining champions league time you know we're gonna have big big games at madmut atlantique the downside of that is that we gonna be in trouble we're gonna have tired players we're not gonna have enough player to compete in three on three fronts you, you have to compete in front uh in league and you have, have to compete in uh cup de france and champions league so yeah oh it's okay Bessmer. no worries man whenever you can if if you can join at least you can you know whenever you can you can watch it on uh on youtube if you want you know or i'll update you on discord it's okay you know I totally understand. Let's uh, do the training levels really quick before the last game. See, again, again, they changed the freaking tactic here. Why? And we can't do the, uh, okay, probably because it's only six days. It's not seven full days since our last time when we tried to, uh, to praise the players so fine we'll just train we'll, we'll just check for the additional training so meho sehajic here improved defensive positioning teodoro ball control for axel friday you're busy that's okay man whenever you can like i said i'm here every day the only the only um, thing that is annoying me is that I can't have like a set schedule, but I'm going to stream every day, but I don't know which, uh, what, I don't know what time, you know. It's definitely before 12 a.m. Central Time, but I don't know if it's 9.30, 10.30, that's, that's the only annoying part. Alrighty, so Bagaric has to play. He has to play. Abramovic back in the squad. Griffith. Oh, and Griffith is going to leave too. One month away, he's going back to menu. <laughs> You're addicted. I'm addicted too, man. 
Yeah, you're gonna get notified on Discord. When I know for sure, I'm gonna post it. Of course, I'm gonna post it on Discord and you guys know. But when I don't know, and when I don't post anything on Discord, it means I have no idea what time the gym will, um, will have that uh, pitch available, you know? So... That's the only reason why I don't know my schedule. It's uh, because of the gym. Alright, let's start the game. We're gonna still play with Sehajic as the right back. We need him to play in the big games. We need him to get used to the new position. Because old chick is leaving, so... Yeah. It's time to put the end of this poor run. Okay. Let's hope they're gonna get the three points here. Abramovich done so Come on Ah oh my god dude immediately Let's get it back. Yes. Uh, and one nothing. <laughs> what a save by Di Jacobe. What a save. Man, Blanco is so important to this team. He was always winning the balls back. He was always fighting in the middle oh Bagaric saved by the goalie <laughs> thank you for being uh, here pixel <laughs> yes very early for the beer I know I know Take it, uh, take it easy. You can, you can drink during the the Atlético Nacional game. Don't worry. We had two bad results, man. We we're not gonna win the league anymore. Now, we're hoping at least to um, to get the the confidence back, and a win here can fix that. And what's happening, man? Like, you're just giving it away just like that. They gave up, man. They gave, they gave up mentally. My squad is just... They're weak mentally. Fight. Look at that. Come on, Ingezana. They're controlling, they're controlling the game and Okorie one nothing. Yes, exactly. Exactly that reaction I would have, the same reaction like the goalie. What the hell is happening to them, man? Mauricio passing to Castello Jr. and Okorie from... Be, like he won the header and Axel is like 6-5 almost are you kidding me here Nielsen 6-5 and uh, we are losing the second place too now Nice is second. Really 
Come on. Abramovic. Ngezana. Rusillo. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. In the box. Rusillo. Come on, dude. Bagaric, Danso, Axel, Dimitrovic, Sehajic. Ha <laughs> We get lucky. Own goal by Nice. Mateus puts it in by mistake. Rosita tried to cross and it got deflected. 1-1 one, one before halftime. Perfect timing. This is the only way we can score goals lately. On goals. Rosita in the box. Ingezana! Huge save by the goalie. Per Nielsen, 6-4. Man, a lot of yellow cards. Petit Jean. Yes, uh, Danso yellow card. Alright, let's take out Nielsen because... Uh... Keep it up, whatever. I'm gonna praise them. Let's take out uh, Nielsen and put in Teodoro. He has a yellow card and 6.4 rating. And Danso. I'll put in Nare. Petit Jean. How about Joao Vitor for Petit Jean? Olchik and Sehajic we're gonna move in in the middle because like Bagaric is super tired that guy played too much this season so we're gonna keep one in the pocket we did four subs at halftime come on boys now it's the time for Teodoro to wash away his sins. Otherwise, we're gonna sell him. We're gonna sell him in the summer. The hell is that, man? Taking shots from any position possible, like stupid. Wow, Di Jacobe. Come on, demand more, boys. Let's win this. Rusilio. After this game, Pixel, uh, we have three, three games left in the league. After this one. Teodoro, Teodoro. Old chick. <clears throat> Are you gonna cross or Joao Vitor? Joao Vitor! See? Every single time when we shoot, we shoot over the bar. They can't freaking aim, man. Only 34 games this season. Yeah, 18, 18 teams, 34 games. Not a 6.5. Just I just subbed him in. Just subbed him in. Let, let's see this one. 
And Gezana corner kick, 67 minutes. Nothing happens, of course. <laughs> over the bar they had a huge chance to score Rosilio 6-5 another chance god yeah I did I did uh, pick so <laughs> Madrid uh, or Thai this is the bet and let's take out Rosilio We still have one in the pocket. Malinowski is for Rosillo. And let's overload, guys. Last chance. Whatever. Whatever happens, happens. We're going to overload trying to get the win here. Come on. 10 minutes. Let's survive this. Good, Abramovich with the blockage. Come on. Six minutes. Can we get lucky again? Ngezana, Olchik. Passing to Ngezana. Ngezana in the box. Tehajic. Oh, corner kick. Why we can just be lucky for one game? All the time. Only them. Fourteen shots to twelve. Ninetieth minute. Three minutes of extra time. Old chick losing the ball. Okori. This guy is a great striker. Lampard interim coach. That's why he was in the stands yesterday. Because I've seen him in the stands. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows, man? Get it. Come on. Come on. Fight, dude. Oh my god. Post. No reaction by Di Jacobe. And it's over. Old chick. In Gezana, come on. Tehajic. We are, we are a powerless team. Powerless team. 1-1 one, one after a lucky, lucky goal scored by us from an own goal, actually. We are still second with three games left. And uh, right now Marseille is definitely... They're going to go to six points ahead of us. Yeah. Let's just see what's going to happen. If they're going to win their game or not. I'm going to send the assist and I don't want to talk to anyone. All right, best Smurf. Thank you for being here today, man. Talk to you tomorrow. Take care. So I'm saying it will retire. Oh, he, we need a we need a goalie too for uh, for next season because Mateo Sonsen is gonna hang the gloves. Mateo Sonsen, 35 years old. Yeah, you can retire, dude. Just retire. Let's uh, press continue until we find out the result between uh, Marseille and their opponents. 
and then uh, we will end the stream guys marseille set for title showdown at orange velodrome Oh god, they play Ajaxio. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna destroy them. Ah, are you kidding me? Marseille lost at home 2-1. We're still three points behind them. Can we still hope? Wow. They lost at home against Ajaxio, who is fighting for survival. I mean, we're still in it. Three games left. Lance, Neem, and Ren. Ren is gonna be very, very tough. We have two games away. Yeah. We're still gonna fight, guys. But for today, we're done. Thank you guys for being here again. It was a long stream. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna be back with pretty much the same... Um, same uh, duration of our stream probably even more we'll see we'll see how um, how we're gonna move in the transfer market because I'm planning to play a little longer um, or food, um, football manager later on today enjoy the rest of the day guys uh, I'll see you all tomorrow probably same time like today 10 30 or 10 45 a.m. central time until tomorrow take care bye bye